Hey everybody, Jamie here with a vlog style update on what's been going on out here, living the bus life. Savannah is, <laughs> here she is. She is doing well and happy. The generator is running because I parked the bus wrong and it's winter time. And since I added the new refrigerator, I'm getting used to how that's all gonna work with my power needs. I think that that refrigerator could be using 30 to 40 amps a day. I haven't measured it, but that's my conjecture from the O-meter I put on it. So with me parked wrong, I need to, I need to have the nose that way and the back of the bus this way. And that way I get the arc of the sun on the solar panel side, but I can't just move the bus because I have this old 1996 school bus, something for you guys just to think about if you're looking at getting a rig and you want to get a better deal because of the price. That's cool. That's what I did. But if you look right here, this I believe is the power steering pump sensor uh, location. And you can see it's open, which means I can't uh, start the bus. It would just spew out and the, and the piece for it guys if you know this engine you know chime in and let me know your thoughts on it the piece on it is right here and i could maybe put some teflon tape on this we put a new o-ring on it from steve it's still leaking but the point is if i put this in to move the bus and it breaks then i don't have the sample to replace it and i'm reluctant to do that i want to have the sample i went around town yesterday and met a guy that at uh, the auto parts store that really knew his stuff, and he suggested I go to a place in Blythe that does a lot of uh, heavy equipment, and he said that they might have it. So I'm gonna try that, but the bus can't move until I replace that part. And my solar panel, here you see, it's uh, almost noon, and I have not yet received any sun on this panel right here because of the way I oriented the bus. So just some things to take, you know, a day in the life stuff for you. Ron's back. He had three uh, dental uh, work on three different teeth in Algodonas. You're going to hear the generator, but I want you to see the inside of my trailer because I'm going somewhere with this. get out of that noise massively too much stuff van life hoarder number one guilty i'm gonna go on a mass purge and the harley's probably gonna go one of my generators is probably gonna go uh the idea is twofold number one i'm gonna generate some revenue while my channel's down uh trying to build it back up and number two having all this stuff and have it be so daunting to pack it and unpack it every time i go to move it's cutting into my piece and so i want to hear from you and your story if you can identify with that i know some people are type a personalities and they will just go out there and attack that trailer and get it all set up because it's a nice camp when you set it all up and then break it all down but you know to me just the notion of, ah, I got to get all this stuff. Do I really need all this? I have a chainsaw from when I was in uh, North Georgia trying to make a place for the van build. Nice chainsaw. Barely, you know, has that many hours on it. It's probably got 50 hours on it. And I don't need it. I got a chop saw from when I rebuilt the trailer. And I'm carrying around a chop saw. Don't need it. Some basic tools, yeah, but I'm just, I'm just covered in all this hoarded stuff why do i keep it what's the mentality do i think i'm going to need it later why did i acquire it in the first place give me your thoughts on this uh and then in upcoming videos i've got the hydraulic lift that uh, i'm going to show you where the reservoir is to fill it because I couldn't find a video showing me where the reservoir was. So I busted it open. I had to bust it open. Yeah, it's in the video. That's coming up. 
and then we're probably going to be doing i've got a, a backup camera that i want you to see that's very unique that is on ron's uh, van coming up and uh probably show I'll, I'll show opening up that trailer and you know i gotta get rid of the stuff i gotta sell it and uh create some uh some free space up here by creating free, free space over there all right give me your thoughts on uh how you identify with that are you a, a van dwelling hoarder or or somebody at home that probably has a bunch of stuff that you're that you may well never even going to use i'd like to hear your thoughts on it and uh you know what advice you might give me to help free my mind right now it's going to be getting rid of this stuff and uh trying to you know get get in a better position in a lot of ways so all right thanks for watching i'll see you soon